Hi, I'm Sarah Tobin, creator of Tapping from Moms, and today is PTSD Awareness Day. Now, many of you may have suffered from PTSD or may still be suffering from PTSD, or you may not be realising that actually your everyday experience is tinged with a bit of PTSD. So I wanted to bring uh, you my story and to share with you how tapping has helped me and helped me in the past. And it goes back to nearly 10 years ago now when we lost our daughter Alice after birth um, because of um, lack of oxygen. And um, we went through a process of discussing what happened with Alice with the hospital, but also with some independent um, advisors and a legal team and so on. And I was eventually, two and a half years later, assessed by a psychologist. And he said that at that time I had undiagnosed severe PTSD. The experience of that PTSD is ultimately what led me to find tapping. But I wanted to talk about maybe the signs and symptoms that I was experiencing that I didn't realise were PTSD. No one talked to me about PTSD post losing our daughter. It wasn't something I was made aware of. Please look out for it. Let's check in and discuss how you're doing, what symptoms you're having. Um, and so I was kind of left unchecked. And I'm sure that's probably a similar story for many people. I've had to write these down so that I can remember them um, because it was so long ago. But basically, I was always on extreme high alert. Um, I did a lot of sabotaging and numbing behaviour. So I drank every day for nearly three or four months. Um, it was five o'clock in the evening and I'd be counting down the minutes to six o'clock when I could open a bottle of wine or have a vodka. Um, found it very, very hard to sleep. Um, flashbacks a lot of flashbacks even in after the three month mark around because I went back to work I would be at my desk or in meetings and I would have flashbacks which were very very debilitating especially trying to present and be coherent and so on um so hard to concentrate guilt and shame so perpetual what ifs what if I'd hired a doula what if we went in on a different day what if what if what if <laughs> you know, blaming myself. Um, withdrawing from friends and family, I found it really difficult to talk to friends and family, the people that cared the most about me and I shared more online with strangers. I found that so much easier and I'm wondering, do or will other people relate to that as well? Um, quite disinterested in lots of things like the joy of life had been sucked out of me. Um, probably you would say depressed, anxious and so on. Um, and obsessed with like health, you know, I would have my have my moles checked on my skin in case I like, was also had skin cancer because I couldn't cope with anything else happening to me at the same time. So they were um, my signs and symptoms and perhaps um, you can connect with and relate to some of those. And I wanted to share with you as well how tapping actually works in order to support PTSD recovery and tapping really has um, had a lot of research from very early on in its support of PTSD in the veteran world. So there is some journals um, out there called the Journal of Nervous and Mental Disease and the Journal of Traumatic Stress um, have published papers on how tapping has really supported PTSD recovery. Um, from the very first session that I had, my flashbacks stopped so that was one, one and a half hour session. Yes, it was difficult. Yes, I cried and felt uncomfortable. But the other side was such relief. And uh, obviously my symptoms started to dissipate from that day forward. Um, so tapping stimulates the amygdala, which switches off the fight, flight, freeze response. That hypersensitivity, the hyper arousal, hyper nervous activity, the anxiety and so on. There's like always looking for danger. And um, so it switches off fight, flight, freeze. So it reduces that arousal in the body, which is huge and basically hacks the brain into feeling safe. So what you're doing really with tapping is bringing safety back into the body. 
um, it desensitizes memories. So it takes away the heat, the emotional pain, the emotional trauma, the, emotion, the emotions attached to a memory. So that I can talk about it now and I could talk about it very early on really after doing this work without feeling the same energy because the energy was gone. I had let go of it. Um, reframing, so when we do a lot of tapping, it is possible, and we use a strategy called reframing to kind of bring our current awareness back to the version of us who needed that support. And now obviously when you lose a child, reframing is difficult because it's you're not saying, oh, well, at least your child survived or whatever, but there are ways that you can make things easier to accept. Um, and when you have a cognitive shift, when you're bringing safety to a previous um, experience, it's much, much easier to let go and to forgive and move forward. Because when you are suffering from PTSD, you are stuck. Your mind is looking for a resolution and um, it, that's why you're getting flashbacks. It's bringing forward these memories for you to heal and process and accept and forgive and love and be able to move forward. Tapping allows you to do that in a really safe container. So if you were suffering from PTSD, I would really recommend investigating, finding a tapping practitioner to support you um, because it really shifts the dial on the symptoms and helping you let go. And equally, if you are supporting other women in different scenarios, maybe postpartum, um, maybe around birth trauma, maybe you are a counsellor or a therapist, then I think adding tapping as a tool to your um, offering is an incredibly powerful thing to do, especially if you've got people with PTSD um, complex or otherwise. So I really hope that helps bring awareness. Um, there's not one day I that goes past that I'm not grateful for tapping and what it's brought to my life. So I hope this helps you in some way. Take care and sending love.